jQuery is a term that is used quite often nowadays. It's one of the more popular JavaScript frameworks. And what jQuery really does is take items that were difficult to implement using JavaScript and required many lines of code and reduced that code down to a much smaller file size. An example is, let's say you want the user to be able to do something within your website. Well, it might take you 50 to 100 lines of code to write it in regular JavaScript. What jQuery does is simplify that process by dropping that down instead of 50 to 100 lines of code. Usually you can accomplish that in less than 10 lines of code. So that is how jQuery has gotten popular. Now within the jQuery framework, which is a sequence of JavaScript library items, there are quite a few different pieces to it. There are plugins, there's a UI, there's an API reference, and if you're not familiar with these terms, you don't really have to be concerned about it. But jQuery is simply a library of JavaScript items that you can download and start using within your desktop application. jQuery makes regular desktop websites easier to work with. However, jQuery does not automatically have built-in touch support. And that's where jQuery Mobile comes in. jQuery Mobile is designed to load even faster than regular jQuery. It also allows you to build websites such as these. And I'll use the Rugby World Cup as an example. Here's an example screenshot. Fairly easily, and this is all designed to work in touch devices. So there are widgets built in, there are styles built in, there is transitioning between pages, and there's also loading of pages in an Ajax type manner. And what that means is the browser is going to store some of this information when the user first goes to the website. And it makes going from one page to another much faster. It also includes transitioning between those pages in an easier manner. There are different transitions you can set up, and that controls how the pages move from one to the other so they can fade in and out, and it just looks better in terms of transitioning between pages. Now, the other thing jQuery Mobile offers that jQuery does not is pre-built page theming. And it has five main themes. You can see as I scroll through these, the colors are a little bit different. All of these color schemes are built into jQuery Mobile. So when you download jQuery Mobile, you're also downloading the styles for these various themes. Those styles incorporate the colors of the buttons, the hover effects for the various items. You can see as I hover, these change. All of that is built into jQuery Mobile, and it's all designed. Its sheer purpose is to make it quick and easy to load pages that look good on a small device. jQuery itself is designed to add features to desktop browsing experiences where you're using the entire screen size on a desktop application. So jQuery Mobile is simply a subset of jQuery. The libraries are a little bit different and the coding's just a little bit different from the regular jQuery piece in order to take into account quick page loading time and also touch interface. So that is the difference between jQuery itself and the jQuery mobile framework, both of which are available for you to use to add additional features to your websites, whether they're a desktop application using jQuery or a mobile website using jQuery mobile.